Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be continuing on our exploratory data analysis with the housing data set. Let's get started. So previously we had gone through and uh, created up our important, important features lists and now we're going to be doing a little bit of kind of feature to feature relationships. We've been specifically looking at everything in terms of the sale price of the house and now we're going to want to look at how all of our numerical features uh, kind of correlate with one another. So first off, let's go on and create up a, uh, um, a numerical uh, correlation. So we'll do DF num here. We want to drop our sale price, access one for the correlation. Um, and again, we already saw all the correlations for the sale price, so we don't really need them anymore. And then let's go on and create up a nice little um, heat map. So sns.heatmap. Here we want our numerical correlation. Uh, and we only, let's actually only look at numerical correlations that are uh, great, uh, greater than or equal to 0 0.5. Um, or those that are, um, yeah, you know what, let's actually do it this way. I want to do just the absolute of this. Uh, and then what else do we want in here? Um, CMAP, let's do Veritas. Uh, and then let's do VMAX here of one of uh, v min is equal to mm, let's do uh, negative one um line widths in here of point one uh annotate here will be true um and square is true I think that should do it. Nope, what didn't it like here? Let's go see. Oh, whoops. V min, V, not vim, V min. There we go. Oh, and that does not look good. Uh, let's change the size of you a little bit, huh? Um, PLT dot figure, let's do fig size here, let's make it a 10 by 10. There we go, that looks okay. Uh, I'm not going to say that it's great, we may want to change like some of the annotation size, but anyways, it, it, it doesn't look too bad. Um, so things that we can see here is overall quality, this definitely has a lot in here. Um, and uh, let's see, maybe Let's see, let's see. Year remodeled, year built. Okay. Uh, anything else that kind of sticks out to us? Let's see here. What is this? This is your garage is built. So maybe garages are important as well. Okay. Um, and so let's go on and also look then at a couple others. Okay. Um, so what, what we can overall say at least. Okay. Let's go and kind of give us a little summation of this. Um, so some of the features uh, may be combining uh, between each other in order to maybe uh, reduce our features. So maybe we want, to, that's maybe some good ideas here is to combine them, okay? So let's see something like um, first floor with the total basement, maybe the garage cars, uh, uh, garage cars with the garage area. Some of these are actually uh, going to kind of have a, a lot of information kind of built in with them. OK, uh, simply because, again, you know, the number of cars. Well, of course, if your garage area is taller than the number of cars you can have. So we may want to go on and and keep those depending on um, what we'd like to do with them. So the next thing that we want to do. So this is kind of just looking at our features. Let's go on and look at our quantitative to our quantitative relationships. OK, so um, for this, we want something like. Um, Let's look at features that are categorical, okay? Uh, so let's let's actually separate out 
uh, the, uh, the qualitative from the quantitative, okay? So let's do something like, um, what do we want here? Let's do um, a quant features here, and let's do something like, um, what would be the best way to go about this? Um, let's look at df2.info. Uh, and we want in here, let's see. I actually probably need to take a look at the head. So df2.head. Um, hmm. DF2, let's maybe look also at value counts. That looks awful. Why did I do that? All right. Um, let's look at um, actually just going in and getting our quant features. And let's actually just do them um, by uh, typing them out here. So we want in here um, lot frontage. Uh, we want the lot area. Um, and let me, this is, this is going to be boring, so let me just... Um, Pause here for a second and I'll be back while I type it out. All right, I'm back. Um, I will put this uh, list of all of these uh, categorical variables in the description below, okay? So that you guys can uh, just copy and paste it if you so choose. Um, so this is basically to separate out all of our quantitative features. Um, so those that, let's, I can go back up to here. So for example, you can see here that each of these are Technically, they're categorical, but they're also numerical. Um, and so we'll keep those out. Uh, and let's do something we actually want to grab um, just those values. So let's do uh, DF3, I guess, or let's do quant DF here, and we'll do DF2 of our quant uh, features. Uh, quant df dot head. Let's take a look. All right, and so now you can see we have our front edge, we have all of these, and we can kind of uh, do some um, kind of interesting things with that. So let's, um, there's also some other features in here that um, they may be strongly correlated with other features as well. So let's go on and look at if any of these are in our, um, our important feature uh, uh, list that we have, okay? So let's say features to analyze here. Uh, let's say um, feature for feature in our quant uh, features if feature in our important features. OK, so we have features to analyze dot um, append here and we definitely want to also have our sale price in there uh, and then let's do uh, print features to analyze so here we see now we have our total basement uh, first floor second floor uh, ground living area I believe full bath uh, total rooms above ground garage cars garage area and a uh, sale price um, and these two are really highly correlated, so maybe we want to do something with those as well. Um, but we'll we'll see. Let's go on and also take a look then. Um, so figure access uh, plt dot subplots here uh, round by the length of our features to analyze um, divided by three. by three um, and let's also do our fig size here let's make it a 20 by 15 uh, and let's then do for I access in enumerate here are fig dot axes if i is less than the length of our features to analyze, minus 1, 
then let's do sns.regplot. Uh, X here is our feature to analyze by I. Y is going to be our sale price. Data is going to be our DF. Well, at least I know it's DF2 with our features to analyze. Uh, axis is equal to axis. Mm. What didn't you like? Here. Mm. Whoops, needed a uh, equal sign in here. Uh, right here. Rerun that, and we'll take a look and see what we can see here and look at the interactions between each of these. So we can definitely see here that they have these kind of upward trends, um, but they're definitely not spread out, okay? They're kind of these nice shotgun blasts with some, some outliers in here that are kind of pulling everything forward. Um, this one has a little bit more, but again, we got a bunch of those uh, uh, zeros in here that we should probably take care of as well. Um, so, and the same thing would probably go for, for this as well, this garage area. Um, so, let's go on and maybe look at one more relationship that we can, we can pull together here. And that is um, the categorical to quantitative. And actually, we will leave that for the next episode. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.